This visit to the State House in Abuja by the United Nations Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed is one in a series of visits to some African countries to discuss strategies to rebuild setbacks caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The closed-down meeting lasted over three hours and according to a statement by a presidential spokesman, the recent NSARS protest and its aftermath were discussed. It was unfortunate and we believe that um, in addressing uh, the demands that were made by the young people, perhaps this is a lesson that we can take into the future on how um, we engage on such issues. Um, it is, uh, I have to say that, you know, there are many protests around this world that have been exacerbated by COVID because COVID has left people out of work, it's left people hopeless um, because of the socioeconomic impacts. And in many of those protests, we have not seen governments turn around and respond as quickly as this government did. Uh, so the UN's, you know, the UN's response to this is that we must make sure that what happened in these protests is um, uh, we are able to address those issues, those gaps, um, and to begin the reform. In fact, I would say the transformations that are needed uh, to address many of these outstanding issues. And for that, we need an engaged youth and we need an engaged government. Next, the UN Deputy Secretary General pays a visit to the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, and there she flags out the Nigeria UN Plus offer for socioeconomic recovery 2020-2022, which is aimed at supporting Nigeria in its immediate efforts at risk mitigation. This offer by the United Nations will mobilize for Nigeria $250 million. This is very helpful to us because um, we put together a plan that costs uh, that will cost us 2.3 trillion. Uh, half of that, as I pointed out earlier, is in the form of loans and facilities. Uh, the other half of it, of course, is uh, budgeted funds. But we still have have a huge gap, you know, and uh, that that gap, I think, has been very well made up for by uh, this initiative. Mrs. Mohammed leads a team of senior UN officials who will, over the next couple of days, visit Niger, Syria alone, and Ghana. Before leaving Nigeria, however, the team will conduct an assessment of the resettlement efforts in Borno State. From the State House in Abuja, Kayla Magua, Channels Television News.